the water good? Hell yeah, I'm going back for my second drink. <laughs> yes. There we go. Pure as the driven snow. There's enough wind in the world to power everything mankind uses five times over. We don't need to fight wars, we don't need to pollute, we don't need to poison the kids with mercury from coal. We can do everything from wind. I got interested in hydrogen back in the 1970s. I worked with the Hydrogen Business Council for several years, trying to get that organization into the limelight, and then I helped found the New Mexican Hydrogen Business Council. Uh, when I was in New Mexico, I met Robert Plar and Victoria Peters that went up to Angel's Nest, which has uh, subsequently become World's Nest. And Robert was experimenting with hydrogen too. I felt like I'd found a kindred soul, but you know what, what Robert did? Everyone was talking about it, Robert went out there and he got an electrolyzer, he put in wind, he put in solar, and he got it working. And this was the most amazing thing to see somebody actually implementing it. And this is where the energy starts. We have solar, wind, hydrogen, biofuel, high pain, high fuel. It's the most advanced building in the world and we use things that are good for man, good for farmers, and good for nature. Solar panels and DNA strand wind generators are shaped as a human DNA strand. That's a DNA windmill. It takes man genes and we spin it in a vortex and it makes beautiful free range organic hydrogen. There's an electrolyzer, so when the electricity is made, it electrolyzes the water, splits the water, and makes gaseous hydrogen, gaseous oxygen, and distilled hot water. So you get three beautiful pieces of gold for the price of one. We have a biofuel hummer here at Angel's Nest just because we want to show people that you can have really cool toys like this and still be environmentally friendly. You can produce all of our fuel right here in the United States, right here on this property, out of garbage. The hummer that's been turned into hydrogenated and vegetable oil run uh, fuel, that's pretty exciting. And you can drive any car that you choose and feel good about what you're doing. You'll learn that you can work and play and live in a sustainable environment that's earth friendly. You're doing something positive, you feel good, like you're here for a reason. And it's also people friendly, so you have all the comforts of home, you don't have to sacrifice anything. We put out two megawatts a piece when the wind's blowing about 30 miles an hour. And they're sending all that electricity to the big city. But sometimes you can't deliver it all. The city can't take it or the grid won't carry it. So what do you do with that electricity? And this secret is hydrogen. Hydrogen is the way we're going to store electricity in the future. And hydrogen can power our cars. It can power our trucks, our airplanes, everything. We're riding on water. Wow! On water! It's not costing three dollars a gallon. It's made back here from the wind from the sun, from the water, <laughs> out of thin air, and clean water. Man, it's believable. It is really believable. Can we take it out on the highway? Let's give it some juice. Here we go. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. 55. Well, you can't drive a, a car on water. I've heard that thing for, you know, God knows how many years, and you mm -hmm. have too. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, turn on the truck. Turn it on. Roll it up. I'm thirsty. All right. All right? <laughs> Get you a drink. Do we have fluid? Yeah, we got some coming up here right now. Let's see how she tastes. 
damn, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta have another drink. Who's gonna come up here and be sucking off a tailpipe yeah. this morning? Yeah. Good stuff. That's regular H2O. In fact, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Lean backwards and open your mouth, right? Oh, you're gonna get some in your eye. <laughs> He's aiming, he got it. Look at that, straight out of the pipe, buddy. <laughs> Someday, we're gonna see hydrogen power the entire country. The first step is going to be to take the electricity from some of these turbines and electrolyze water into hydrogen and oxygen and sell it at a California service station. This is an electrolyzer. We're the only building in the world that does free range organic hydrogen. We collect waste power. Normally in this building, for five hours a day, we throw away solar and wind power because we have too much. Now we collect it, we make electricity, we split water, we make oxygen, hydrogen, and distilled water. And that is the new battery medium. Free range organic hydrogen stored in a tank is your new battery that will run, cook, cool heat, and fuel your vehicles for free. And that's what we do here, the first free range organic hydrogen station in the world. We can make hydrogen today with big electrolyzers, big $2 million wind turbines for less than the price of gasoline. As a matter of fact, if you count the costs it takes to, to take care of the health problems that's generated by fossil energy, it's been calculated at Stanford University that uh, hydrogen costs about $2.16 right now to make with electrolysis from wind. Now why are we not making electrolyzers, running our cars on hydrogen. We can run regular cars on hydrogen. And then the fuel cells, they make it even more efficient. We don't need to have a giant military all over the world when we could just be running our stuff at home. We don't want nuclear plants, we want wind power. Wind power does not pollute. You put these turbines where you're grazing cattle or sheep or where you're growing crops, they don't even interfere. It's the most fantastic thing. It's, it's, it's God's gift. And to, to go burn coal or, or, or natural gas or, oh God, nuclear power, it's the wrong thing to do. These are cheaper than all the other ways to make power. And by spreading them all over the United States and putting them into a common grid, we can be assured of a constant supply of power, day or night, 24-7, all year round. Making ecology and economics, making money from cleaning the planet and providing a cheaper product that withstands hurricanes, earthquakes, fires, and water. This is very exciting. The technology is so advanced today. It's here, it's now, it's happened. The Angel's Nest, which is now evolved to World's Nest. And we have this amazing power team to take it out to the world faster in a bigger way. And we're just excited for everyone to know about it and to be a part of it. It's good for everyone. It's good for the children of the world.